Seven Serpents Quick Bite. 540 kilometers, 9500 meters elevation, gravel cycling race. Actually, my first gravel cycling race. How fun that was for me, I want to show in this video. A bit tired, didn't sleep. That was quite a journey now, coming from Norway to Vienna with the bike pack and everything. Anyway, I arrived here then and assembled my bike together. First thing was like that the shifter did not really work properly anymore. I got super worried. My shifting is messed up after the traveling. A bit of Googling and YouTube, everything was fine. So shifter was not a problem, all fine. Yeah, and afterwards I went then now in the evening for yeah, just an hour to test everything with the whole equipment loaded up. And then over this one hour, a bit of a cracking noise started coming up. I think it comes like from the back wheel, kind of the cassette area. I'm not really sure about that now. I will tomorrow go to a bike mechanics in Slovenia and then I hope they can figure this out. I should be prepared for most of the stuff and the rest creativity and flexibility should do the job, I hope. in Ljubljana. It was quite a long train ride, like six, seven hours. It was actually fun and smooth because I already met some other people who will attend this event. It was then in Ljubljana when I arrived, I immediately went to a bike mechanic just to check this uh, cracking I heard yesterday and it took him like 10 minutes and it was done. Very, very nice. And now I'm ready. I'm a bit nervous, so I hope I can sleep well tonight. I guess I need this sleep. And then I'm ready, ready to go. done. It's so warm. For me it's so warm. It's tough. But it's okay. I got a bit headache, I guess, due to the heat. But it's good. The route is amazing. The route as such, it's so cool. It's like smooth gravel, tarmac gravel, tarmac gravel, gravel. Really nice. Not a lot of climbing. But yeah. I guess that's what you need to expect. Nine and a half thousand elevation change. in the evening at the, I'm at the highest point and now it just goes down it's pretty cold around 80 kilometers in and the seaside that's okay I feel pretty much everything So around 360 kilometers are done. 
I would say for my mind 140 to go, the rest is just downhill, so actually it's 170 I think. I'm a bit tired, didn't sleep. So after 36 and a half hours of cycling, I crossed the finish line at 12.30 in the night. I was welcomed by Bruno and two other guys who just finished. Got a welcoming or finishing medal actually. Pretty cool one because it's like a self-made uh, pottery medal. And yeah, I really like it. It was like, I would say worth the sometimes torturing. After that, I did not have any more energy to really record something. So I straight went to Airbnb, I booked and fell to bed and slept for like eight hours. I uh, needed to leave there place again and then went to the finishing line again, uh, so no somebody else uh, crossing the finish line and then I went with this, this rider for some breakfast, that was really nice, very good atmosphere actually. Here's a recap of the of the course again. It's like first starting in the Slovenian forest and the moment you basically cross the Croatian border is just super rocky, it's like super um, steep and very bumpy uh, gravel I would say. So yeah, that was tough. There were also two ferries, which is from the island Krk to Tres and then from Tres back to the mainland to Istria. And then from Istria it was approximately, I think, another 150, 170 kilometers until the race is then done. Very cool experience. I would say we were very lucky with the weather because it was never really raining. It was like once for like 10 minutes a little bit in Slovenia, but all in all, no rain, no nothing. It was very warm, nice days. So with this weather conditions, I can only recommend it. And it was amazing event. It was really an amazing experience. At some point, of course, I was just cursing because it was really tough. But all in all, after a few days, it's like, it, it's quite an experience. If you have any questions about equipment, about the route, the race or whatever, then just write it in the comment and I will try to answer it.